Um, in this video, I'm going to look at how to um, uh, add uh, and uh, subtract, uh, multiply and divide uh, complex numbers in uh, in exponential form. So in number one, we're going to look at how to add uh, and subtract uh, complex numbers. And then in number two, we're given uh, these uh, computations here. And uh, the instruction is to first express them in exponential form. So we're going to see how to multiply, divide, and uh, raise, exponentiate in exponential form. The guideline, uh, like uh, we gave uh, when we did uh, operations of numbers in polar form, is that for addition and subtraction, uh, the thing we want to do is to express the complex number in rectangular form because uh, rectangular form is uh, more um, suited for additions and subtractions. It's more efficient. Uh, and then for, some, for multiplication and uh, division, uh, then uh, polar form and exponential form is going to be uh, more efficient. So for addition and subtractions, express in a rectangular form first. And then for multiplications and division, then of course we can work in exponential form. All right, so in this video, uh, we're just going to work through number one and then in the next video where we're doing addition and subtraction, then in the next video, we are going to go on to the subtract to the multiplication, division and exponentiation. So in number one, we have got 2e uh, to the pi i over 3 plus 4e to the 5i pi over 6. So according to our guideline, what we want to do is to first convert these numbers to rectangular form. And uh, we do this by going via the polar form. So like this is 2cis pi on 3 plus 4 cis 5 pi on 6 then expand this in terms of sines and cosines so it's going to be cosine pi on 3 plus i sine pi on 3 plus 4 into cosine 5 pi on 6 plus i sine 5 pi on 6. And then after this, it's just going to be calculator work. So if uh, our calculator is in the radians mode, then we're going to do uh, cosine uh, pi on 3. Uh, by the way, pi on 3 is just uh, 60. Uh, so that's... Uh, but if it's in the radians mode, we can punch it like this. So that's going to be uh, 1.5. So let me just write these ones here. So that's one half. Then uh, sine uh, 60 uh, is going to be uh, root 3 on 2. So that's this one here. Then cosine 5 pi on 6. So cosine 5 pi on 6, 5 pi on 6 is 150 uh, degrees. Then the sine of that is going to be 1 half. It's in the second quadrant, so it is positive. Okay, so those are the values so... So this is going to work out into 2 into 1 half plus i 
zero three over two plus four into negative root three over two plus i over two removing the brackets is going to give us one plus i root three minus root three plus two i so collecting the real terms yeah, there's going to be a 2 here. It's going to be 1 minus 2 root 3. And then the imaginary terms, we're going to have root 3 plus 2. And so that is our complex number in rectangular form. We are now going to give you a moment to have a go at B. So if you just want to pause the video and then you can go through B, then when you continue the video, then you can compare your solution with our solution. All right. Right. Uh, we're now going to scroll down to our solution for that question B. Um, we'd like to thank you for watching the video coming to uh, visit our channel um, and uh, if you haven't subscribed would like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and if you've got any questions um, would like would be happy to hear them uh, just post them in the comment section so please do like the video and share accordingly all right so in part b we've got e uh, to the 5 i pi over 4 minus e to the minus pi i over 4. So um, in polar form, this is the same as cis 5 pi over 4 minus cis negative pi over 4. Then in terms of sines and cosines, this is cosine 5 pi over 4 plus i sine 5 pi over 4 take away then this one is going to be cosine negative 5 negative pi over 4 plus i sine negative pi over 4 uh, and then we simply uh, uh, punch these in the calculator so starting with uh, cosine uh, 5 pi over 4 so here we go cosine 5 pi over 4 uh, 5 then pi over 4 so that's going to be negative 1 over root 2 then sine 5 pi over 4 so if we just put sign here um, so that is the same thing then we go to cosine negative uh, pi over 4 pi over 4 that's 1 over root 2 then we're going to do sine negative pi over 4 that is negative 1 over root 2 then after this we can evaluate these so we have got um, a negative 1 over root 2 from here minus i over root 2 take away 1 over root 2 minus i over root 2 remove brackets so we're going to have negative 1 over root 2 minus i over root 2 1 over root 2 plus i over root 2 because we've got minus minus there 
So what this means is that uh, these terms are going to cancel out. So we're going to have two of uh, these. So that's going to be negative 2 over root 2. So that is negative root 2. All right. So thanks for watching. In the next video, then we're going to continue with uh, these ones here where we are multiplying, dividing and exponentiating.